Hi, Desmond. How Hi. are you this morning? I'm good. Good. Today, you have agreed to speak to us as a parent who receives our services. Yes, ma'am. And she's fine. Go ahead, darling. You can play. And you know that the coalition is really about trying to support parents and families so that they can work, yes, but at the same time feel very comfortable that their child is in a good early learning program that's preparing their child, Yes, ma'am. which is what you would do if you could be home with her. Yes. So uh, what I'd like to ask you first is to just get a sense, and I haven't asked you, so I, I may be <laughs> sorry I asked, but could you share with us, uh, did you have a good experience? Yes, I had a great experience. Tell me some of the things that you felt like made it a comfortable experience the, for you. Um, welcoming staff at your front desk, they welcomed me in and made sure I had, if I had any questions, they would feel free to answer them. And it was a timely manner when my caseworker came to get me to fill out my paperwork. Good, yes. Good. Now, one of the things is uh, accountability, that we've got to ask for so much paperwork. Mm -hmm. How do you make sure that you have all your paperwork together when you come? Because it's a hard thing for parents. I keep everything organized in a file folder. Okay. Talk a little bit about that so parents might be able to learn from you. I just get a file folder, and I put it in all the important documents I need on my children in that file folder and just bring it to the appointment. Make sure you call first to see what you're going to need ahead of time, and then you get all your documents together a couple of days before your appointment, and you'll have everything. So you don't have to leave and come back no. and leave it. You, got, you bring everything. Yes. How long did your appointment actually take you today? Probably 30 minutes. Okay. Not long at all, but Good. that's just to sign everything. Right, mm -hmm. yeah, got a lot of documents mm -hmm. to sign. That but that's understanding. Agreed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you okay that we, or tell me how you feel about us saying to parents, listen, you've got to be accountable because we've got a wait list, and if you really don't need these services, we really need, you know, we feel that way. But how do you, as a parent, feel uh, when we say to you, you got to tell us when, this changes or that changes, and it's a hassle. How do you feel about that? I agree because there's some parents out there that really need the services, and then there are some that don't. Like you said, they don't. It should be open to the ones that really need the services. And what do these services allow you as a family to be able to do? To be able to go to work and provide for my family. That's great. And know that my children are in a safe place, learning. That's important to you, mm -hmm. that they are learning. Yes, ma'am. Wonderful. Is there anything that you could tell us that you think we could do better, it would be more convenient for you, be more helpful for you? No, everything, I will keep the same. I you like would. it. I love it. Good. How about how people treated you, darling? That's very important to me that you're treated You have a with very you. nice, friendly staff here. Good. Good. You never felt like you were being talked down to or no. anything? No, no. I, so I felt like I was being helped more than anything. Good. Everyone here was trying to help me. And we need that, don't we? Yes. We all need that together. Yes. You know, we tried something today. Cat in the Hat was yes. out there. And it's called our Literacy in the Lobby. Okay. It's because um, we're trying something. We've not really tried this before. But what we know, what the research is telling us, that many of our children are not getting to kindergarten with the basic skills they need to be ready to read. Not reading, but to be ready, ready to read. And so we thought that once a month, why didn't we do something called literacy in the lobby? The parents were here anyway. Maybe it would be a great time to do some parent skill building for them so that they would know exactly. how important maybe vocabulary or talking mm -hmm. to your child or what books to have or some of the fun things you could do without a parent having to leave their work and come to a training session. <laughs> Mama, what you're seeing happening is uh, that's our cat in the hat. Okay. And, of course, she's talking to your child, and your child is mesmerized by Cat yes. in the Hat. Everybody loves Cat in the Hat. Yeah, she loves the movie. Oh, does she? Yes. Well, that's one of the reasons that we decided to try, as a coalition, to support parents with early literacy. 
you know, really the parent is the child's first teacher. Yes. But often uh, you guys aren't told the, the simple things that children need from you to be great readers. So what we tried to do, Mama, is we try to do something called literacy in the lobby. And I want you to tell me if you think we should keep doing it or if it just you think no because there is a cost to it and it's time yeah. uh, and I don't want I, I don't want to confuse parents but I thought if we could do literacy activities parents might get some ideas about exactly. what they could do at home uh, but also we could just give you a little tip sheet that said listen these are three things that will boost your child's reading and it's talking to them, you, the, whatever that is. But you're already here, and you're waiting anyway. So we thought it might be a great idea to just do literacy in the lobby once a month. Tell me what you think about that as a, a technique to support parents. I think that's a great idea. I really do. I will look forward to coming back every month, you know, great. just for that. <laughs> Would you like to receive little tips that you yes. could just do on helping your child that right there at home, like yes. get them sorting the laundry and it's a math technique, mm -hmm. um, help them follow a recipe and it's reading. Does, would you like to receive those? Yes. Now, do you, Mom, I'm just going to ask you questions because I don't get to ask parents a, a <laughs> lot, but I see that a lot of parents use cell phones today. And I, I, my own doctor had sent me a message about my appointment. Well, I didn't know you could do that. And so I thought, might this be a way that we could send little tips to parents once a month that say, talking to, to your child will boost your child's reading by, and that's all, not just one statement. But would, if you got that, do you think that that's a good idea? Do it's you, a good idea. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Would it's you read idea. it? Yes, I would. Okay. All right. Well, that is wonderful. Will you share with us anything? Would you just talk to other parents? Because you know right where they sit, darling. Yes, ma'am. You know what they go through. Yes, ma'am. You know the struggle. You know how sometimes it's hard to ask for help, and then sometimes it's too easy. Mm -hmm. You've experienced. You know you're right there, and here you are, and you recognize that this isn't help forever. This is just a handoff until you get where you want to be and you're totally self-sufficient and do this all on your own. Yes, ma'am. Uh, and that precious little girl is the reason you do this. So will you just kind of share with the parents, you talk to them from a parent and, and share your heart with them that, you know, how you feel when you go through this. Um, just do you have a message you'd like to send to parents? The message would be <clears throat> the coalition is here to help us. And if you just follow your techniques as far as organization and getting everything together before your appointment, everything will run smoothly. The coalition is always here to help. If you don't know, just ask. They're here. That's what they're here for. Thank you so much. Thank you. Do you mind just sharing your first name? Deslin. And your little girl's name? Zakaria. And she is the love of your life. Yes, she is. We see that. <laughs> Thank you for allowing us to partner with you. Thank you. We love being your partner. <laughs> we at the coalition recognize that parents are the child's first and lifelong teacher, and we respect them in that role. Our purpose is to grow healthy children, parents, and the relationship between them. Thank you for being a part and growing children with us. If you'd like more information or some parent tips, check out our webpage at www.elcnwf.org. Thank you again, Mama. Thank you.